So Convex just dropped a new AI agent that builds full stack apps. Unlike any other AI agent or app builder that you might have seen that they are extremely good with front-end UIs and building React components, oftentimes they um, struggle when it comes to the back-end logic. When you're talking to databases, functions, actions, authentications, background jobs, and whatnot. Now, Convex has dropped this new app called Chef, so Chef by Convex, which they've been cooking recently, which is going to help us build full-stack apps using the Convex ecosystem from the real-time database to file storage to authentication to background jobs and whatnot with just giving um, a prompt to the agent. We're going to test this together, but if you're not familiar with Convex, as I mentioned, it's... Um, more so a backend as a service provider. We have covered Convex before in the channel. We've built a Medium clone using Convex, gave us real-time database, file storage, and whatnot. So I will link that in the description if you want to um, get familiar with what Convex is. And now they have stepped into this AI app uh, building or AI agents uh, domain where you can just give it a prompt, and because it is being trained on Convex's APIs for the backend logic, you can literally build the app together. So enough of me talking. Let's dive in and try this together. There's a link in the description that you can try this for yourself. They just dropped it and launched it today, so you can try it with the link in the description. But we're going to try to cook something together here to see how good it is. But at the very least, I want to see how the functions are working or how it's defining the backend logic more than how the app looks on the front end. Okay, so there are some prompts here. Build a chat app, to-do app, blue sky clone. Let's start with a chat app. So it pops a prompt here. Let's just hit it off. When you use the link in the description to try this for yourself, uh, you're going to have to create an account in Convex if you don't have one. And then you have to log in with your account to be able to use this. It gives you some tokens to test and try. But beyond uh, the initial tokens, you have to either bring in your own um, API key or subscribe to the Pro version of Convex to be able to get more credits to continue building this. So as you're seeing here, it's going through the steps. It's telling me what it is going to do. It's going to create a schema for messages, threads, and reactions, add Convex queries and mutations for messages and reactions, build a clean UI with message list, thread views, and reaction buttons. This is what I will be asked for it in the prompt, um, the things that we have, the, what we want it to have. And then on the right-hand side, you can actually see uh, what it is doing. So from uh, the APIs that it has created, data model servers, uh, there's going to be a preview soon available. And then once this is done, it is going to also show you uh, the backend convex functions and schemas and databases that we could see here. So I'm going to pause here or fast forward. I'm going to tell you how long this took instead of uh, keeping you um, here. And then I'll come back. Okay, so as it was deploying it, you could see it, it gone through um, a few steps and pop published the functions to Convex while running TypeScript checks. And now it has encountered an error and it is asking me if I want Chef to to also look at the error. So let's, let's do this and see what comes after. Okay, seems like the error has been fixed now. Before we try this out, let's just try this out. Sign in anonymously and just you can type in a message. Hello, Chef from Convex. So you can post in a chat. Now, what I'm interested about is what's happening in your Convex dashboard from the data that you have. You can see it has already created tables for us auth accounts, rate limits, refresh tokens, sessions, messages, reactions, and users. We have one anonymous user right now. 
And then we have functions that are uh, for coring and mutating the users for auth related functions. We have uh, the ease authenticated function, logged in user, sign in, sign out. And then for messages, we have list, send, react, and whatnot. File storage, you, you already know that Convex comes with the file storage. In this example that we did for a messaging app or a chat app, the file storage wouldn't uh, be useful, but I'm assuming if you are building something that deals with images or files, this can be useful or a scheduled job. So I'm going to try something else here. So I'm going to come here and say, maybe build an Instagram clone. This is another prompt that's already here. It is going to build an app similar to Instagram, except it's a global, global shared image stream. There should be a box when you can drag and drop images. When uploading an image, it should get resized to a maximum of that size, crop to square. And then you can have my photos, you can delete my photos, um, and you can like each of these guys. So let's see what this actually builds. And as you can see here, it's writing the code, creating my functions over here. Let's just go back to what it is doing here. All right, this seems to be done, even though I see an error here. So let's go sign in anonymously. I can drag, drag and drop an image here. So let's open up our finder, drag and drop. Let's go to downloads, maybe drag and drop an image here. Mm, let's do this one. Okay, so the image was uploaded successfully. I can go ahead and like this or unlike this. It's a streaming image streaming service. So again, in the auth account, I have one user. I have the images. This is just the one that we just dropped. Uh, likes, users, the functions that we need to generate upload URL. This is insane. If you've worked with, you know, backend, if you've worked with Convex, if you actually watch the video that I have building a Medium clone, you have to literally write every single one of these functions, obviously. Um, but now it's all generated. We can just go in and quality check the functions before you actually deploy. But this, in my opinion, streamlines your process of building applications even more so than the other AI agents then uh, are doing um, that are mainly focused on the UI and the front end uh, because this is the part that's usually tough to get and because Convex it's a back end it's a full service you have the database you have the file storage you have the authentication and you have one single API for your AI agent to learn and work with um, the possibility of it getting everything right and giving you a an application that works is higher so um, I'll um, stop here. I'll include the link in the description, as I mentioned, for you to try. Uh, this other app that we have is also seems to be working, even though when, I, when we hit refresh, it seems to have a problem with some errors. But this app that we have here for the Instagram photo sharing streaming service, whatever it is that we built together, that works. If you have any questions, um, Hit me up in the comments like always and let me know what you think about it and share with me what you're building with, uh, with this chef. Thank you.